Pomona, the 60 freeway, the scene of a deadly chain reaction accident early this morning. One led to another and ended with two people killed. A later died, a third, I should say, later died in a separate collision. CBS 2's Jake Reiner is live at the CHP offices in Baldwin Park with more. Uh, Leslie and Ross, this story begins just before 2 a.m. when a 24 year old man named Ryan Sanchez, he was driving a Toyota Camry. He noticed a crash up ahead blocking the carpool lane on the eastbound lanes of the 60 just west of Reservoir Street, and he got there before CHP. And it's believed that the driver got out to assist that uh, previous traffic collision. California Highway Patrol Sergeant Michael Mayer says after a few minutes, Ryan Sanchez got back in his car. He was with a 23 year old woman who was riding shotgun. That's when a second vehicle uh, is a Honda Civic was approaching from the rear at a high rate of speed. And for reasons still unknown, they did not see the uh, stopped Toyota Camry and they collided into the back. The rear end crash killed Sanchez's 23 year old passenger and set the Honda Civic on fire, killing that female driver as well. CHP says Sanchez was rushed to the hospital with minor injuries and will survive. Then a few hours later around 4 a.m. while investigators worked the scene and traffic was backed up, the CHP got reports of a wrong way driver going westbound in the eastbound lanes to avoid being stuck on the freeway. The 35 year old man ended up crashing his Volkswagen Jetta into a center divider east of Diamond Bar Boulevard and died at the scene. Sergeant Mayer told me they need to wait on toxicology reports, but they suspect drugs or alcohol may have been a factor in this one. So typically when a driver turns around and drives wrong way, um, there's always that chance of uh, drug or alcohol being a factor in the crash. Now, uh, none of the victims have publicly been identified at this time, and the first collision, which was the non-fatal one, happened to be a hit-and-run crash, and so far, CHP says no arrests have been made, nor has that driver been found. Reporting live in Baldwin Park, I'm Jake Reiner, CBS 2 News. Thanks so much, Jake.